Hey guys, welcome to Maker Tales. This is part two of creating the puzzle box. So what you're going to see now is me finishing the design and then you'll have me back in the warehouse showing you all the rest of the creation process. If you haven't seen the first video, the link is down in the description. It's based off an amazing puzzle box that's being laser cut and I'm trying to reverse engineer it. Anyway, straight back to the video. All right, so we've got to the point where it's all down on what's left of the MDF. The design's done, it's all put down. I've done all four sides of the lid. Now all we have left of wood is that one sheet of MDF there. However, it just fits into it. So this is what's already been cut out and that's what's left. So that's the lid one of the side panels because two of the sides are the same and then this the other side anyway let's go to the laser and hope that this works okay so it's official the job has started it's going to take 20 minutes to cut all the last pieces i have done everything in my power to make sure this doesn't screw up i've even off focused it by minus three down the focus and given it an offset to go up three millimeters so there's a six millimeter clearance in case any of these tiny little bits stick up and then screw up the job so I'm going to stay right here next to the big fat stop button or pause button at least or just stick my hand in there to stop the job if anything goes horribly wrong. Fingers crossed. And there you have it. It's been cut. I did have a little problem. There was a clustering here and wait here just in case i didn't get the camera there and here i had to double cut because for some reason it didn't go through but i've got a whole bunch of spares that i got set up in the other file as you can see even the spares fell through because well the mesh doesn't catch it i hope it's under i'm now going to give it it's a one eye or uh, eye over to basically check that everything's been cut because i had to modify the file here for the bits that didn't get cut when I had the cluster gathering. And yeah, anyway, that there is something around 130 pieces, I think. Something crazy. Anyway, next up, I'm gonna take it all over there and we shall put this together. Okay, so here it is. They've all been cut but they haven't been put together yet. So, what I'm going to do is, because there's two, three new mechanisms here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a time lapse going on, and when I get to the point that I'm actually closing in the mechanism, I will get my phone out, record the video showing you how the mechanism works, and then close it all up. All right, now let's get to it. Okay, so here is one of the three mechanisms and the whole intention is this is the base, the bottom pin, which is blocking this one coming out. So you have to unlock the base first. So when you unlock the base, then you can move this one. Now, with the once you've moved that, then you can move these out. But to move these out, you need to move the other pins first. So then those can be moved out and then this one and come down that's how that mechanism works it's really hard to do this with one hand while the other hand's filming 
So down, out, out, down. Okay, this is the second side mechanism. Very similar to the other side, except these need to go in to let this one down instead of out. So, this one goes down, then these go in, then this one goes down. Oh, which one is it that's not all the way? There's that one. All right, now the last one will be the top. Okay, and here is the final mechanism, probably one of the more complicated ones, where it starts as, oh, give me one moment, starts as so, so first of all you need to release the clips that will be stopping these from going out, and then you actually have to take, push these out as well, to then be able to twist this to the right combination which would be this one now this is the lid so there are locking hooks here so this will lock to the inside part of the box through those two holes there that's what that is those two holes sorry that one hole there that one in the middle that one that one <laughs> right so, and then once you get it right, you flick that, which goes twice as far, which takes the latch all the way in, and then you would be able to lift the lid up. Anyway, now let's finish mounting this, and then try and put all these pieces together. All right, so here it is. Um, how can I put this? It has been a fail. All the systems work, but I screwed up on my part on these two sides. The mechanisms <laughs> need to be the other way around. So it's the next day I've come back and I was like, I'm gonna sort this box out. Why isn't it working? Um, so that last comment I just said, it's fine, it was just, it was 12.30 at night when I was recording that and I've checked the entire system and it works! I cannot believe, it works! Yes, there are a few fiddly bits, a little bits that are just catching but now I know for version 2 where to increase the little parameters but that's it there. So, that there is how, I doubt that this is the exact mechanisms that he has in his in his video but if you want to check out the puzzle box this is based on, it's down in the description. And of course all the mechanics could be completely different, but the unlocking system, the pin system, sliding system, I had to be creatively inspired and use that. And now there's a lovely, obviously there's a much bigger box, this is actually 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters, so it's big. But yeah, that's that. Anyway. Back to the video. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. That there is my first attempt at making a puzzle box. I'm going to redo this design a little bit. Gonna figure out how I'm going to make these pins. Probably made out, make them out of acrylic or metal or maybe change it to screws I'll decide that or I might turn it into a T because the T's are a lot stronger when it comes and maybe not use MDF 
would probably be a good idea too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you might suggest I could do better. And now you know how he made that box. This is my first attempt. I just love the design of his box. It's still down in the description if you want to see the actual video that this is based off. And from here, I want to see what else I can make. Thanks for watching and let the quest continue.